With Uncharted 4 right around the corner, we here at Suggestive Gaming thought it would be a good idea to give a quick overview for anyone just jumping into the franchise. So if you're new, or just need a quick refresher, stick around to find out what you need to know about Uncharted. Starting with Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, we meet explorer and treasure hunter Nathan Drake, along with TV host Elena Fisher, who have just uncovered Sir Francis Drake's coffin. Nate opens it, and much to Elena's surprise, it contains no body, but a lockbox containing Drake's journal. Shortly after this discovery, the pair are attacked by a group of pirates. Nate hands Elena a gun as they prepare to fight off the group until being rescued by Nathan's longtime friend and partner, Victor Sullivan. Elena shows ship explodes and the two narrowly escape to Sully's plane. While making their escape in air, Nate fills Sully in about the journal, and after landing, they discuss their plan to use it to find El Dorado, the lost city of gold. The two decide to head off to the Amazon, leaving Elena behind. There, they find an entrance to some ancient runes, which after some help from Drake's journal, lead them to an altar, which used to house a large gold statue, the real treasure of El Dorado. Following the tracks led by those who extracted the statue, Nate and Sully are led to an abandoned German U-boat. Nate decides to check it out, giving Drake's journal to Sully to keep it safe. Nate enters the ship and finds its crew dead. With them, he finds a map to an island, where the statue was most likely to have been taken. Nate leaves the ship, accidentally triggering a torpedo on his way. On the shore, he is greeted by Gabriel Roman, a rival treasure hunter whom Sully owes a great debt to. As it turns out, Sully had promised to pay Roman back with the funds he acquired from the treasure of El Dorado. However, Roman decided to follow the two to obtain the treasure for himself instead, employing mercenary lieutenant Atok Navarro. Taking the map found in the U-boat, Roman threatens Nathan, which causes Sully to intervene. Growing annoyed, Roman decides to shoot him instead, right before the torpedo Nate previously triggered explodes. Forced to run from Roman and his mercenaries, Nate flees to find Elena, who had followed he and Sully in hopes to get more footage for her TV show. The two make it back to Sully's plane, but during their flight are shot down by anti-air missiles. After escaping by parachute, Nate must find his way back to Elena. Retrieving the map from the plane on his way, Nate eventually finds Elena, but is quickly shot at by an RPG. Nate wakes inside a jail cell and is visited by the leader of the pirates, Eddie Raja, another old rival. Elena busts Nate out, and the two give chase before they're forced to back their jeep into a river. The two then escape on a jet ski and eventually split up. When they reunite, Elena has some shocking news. Sully is alive and seemingly working with Roman and Navarro. Heading off to find Sully, Elena slips and drops her camera, making the trip for her TV show a complete loss. After more jet ski hell, the pair finds Sully stalling for time. After a rescue, Sully reveals that Drake's journal took the bullet, allowing him to survive Roman's shot. The group find a passage underground, and eventually Nate and Elena find an empty vault containing the body of Sir Francis Drake. Nate assumes Drake died in search for the treasure, and leaves his ring, which once belonged to Drake, with the body. Nate eventually finds Eddie, who it turns out is running from some kind of human-like species of beasts, who eventually kill him. Nate and Elena escape to a bunker, and uncover the truth that the statue they have been in search of holds a mystical power that transforms men into these beasts. Elena is then captured by Roman, and Drake and Sully reunite to find him, preparing to offload the statue. Navarro convinces Roman to open the statue, which quickly turns him into one of the creatures before Navarro puts him down. Navarro then reveals that he had planned this all along in order to take the statue for himself, which he does before escaping with Elena still hostage. Nate chases them, grabbing onto the ascending statue. The statue is taken by helicopter to a tanker at sea, and Nate prepares for his final showdown with Navarro. Nate finds their downed helicopter, containing an unconscious Elena. However, he is suddenly blindsided by Navarro. Nate goes to rescue Elena, and after getting her out of the helicopter, pushes it off the tanker, sending the statue and a tangled Navarro down to the depths. Sully arrives for the pickup, but not before Elena gives Nate back his ring, which she took after he left it with Drake. Finally, the three head off, with Drake promising Elena a new story to tell bringing us to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Two years after the events of the first game, we find Drake being approached by former partner Harry Flynn, along with an old girlfriend, Chloe Frazier, with a job to steal an ancient lamp. Initially declining, Drake's interest is piqued when he learns that the lamp might be holding the secret to Marco Polo's lost fleet. The three come to an agreement and head to a museum in Istanbul to retrieve the lamp, which contains a map detailing Marco Polo's fleet's voyage to retrieve the Sintamani Stone from the mythical city of Shambhala. Flynn takes the map and double-crosses Drake, leaving him to be arrested and imprisoned for three months before Sully and Chloe arrive to bail him out. Nate and Sully find Flynn and his boss Zoran Lazarevic in Borneo. At their base, Nate finds research which leads him and Chloe to a tomb containing a cryptic dagger and a hint which takes them to Nepal in search of a temple. 
After finding it, the pair happen to come across a cameraman who happens to be with last year's model, Elena. Despite Chloe's protest, Nate convinces Elena and her cameraman Jeff to come with them. At the temple, Nate uses the dagger as a key to trigger a topographical map, showing the location of Shambhala being in the Himalayas. They are met outside the temple by Lazarevic's men, who shoot Jeff, leaving him too wounded to walk. Chloe again tries to convince Drake to leave them behind, but Nate carries Jeff until they are cornered by Flynn and Lazarevic. Lazarevic takes the dagger and executes Jeff before leaving Flynn to take care of Drake and Elena. They escape and decide to catch up with Lazarevic's train, in order to get to an undercover Chloe. Nate hops the train and fights his way to the front, regaining the dagger. He then finds Chloe, and after unsuccessfully coercing her to come with him, Flynn shows up and shoots him. A wounded Nate is then forced to blow up his train car, causing it to crash over a cliff. Drake climbs his way up the train and safely makes it to the cliff, eventually falling unconscious. After waking in a Tibetan village, Nate is reunited with Elena, who introduces him to Carl Schaefer, who informs Nate of his own search for Shambhala, in which his men never returned. Nate and a local named Tenzin go searching for the remains of Schaefer's men when they are attacked by Yeti-like creatures. When they find Schaefer's men, they discover that they were SS soldiers who Schaefer killed in order to stop the Nazis from using the power of the Sintamani Stone from Shambhala, which was fabled to grant immense power. They return to the village to find it under siege, with Schaefer kidnapped and the dagger stolen by Lazarevic's men. Elena and Nate find Schaefer, who explains that they must destroy the Sintamani Stone before dying from his injuries. They split up in an attempt to find Shambhala faster. Nate finds Chloe, still undercover, and convinces her to give him the dagger with the promise that he will take out Lazarevic. Elena and Nate reunite at the entrance to Shambhala, which Nate opens using the dagger. Inside, Lazarevic and his men ambush them, and Flynn takes Drake to lead him to Shambhala. When they find the final gate, they are attacked by the Yeti creatures, but are saved by a tailing Lazarevic, who discovers that the creatures are Sintamani stone-empowered human guardians disguised to scare away possible intruders. Once they enter Shambhala, Lazarevic prepares to kill Nate, Elena, and Chloe, but is interrupted by a group of the Guardians. The group find the Sintamani Stone, which is encased in a Tree of Life. After the discovery, Flynn appears and detonates a grenade, wounding Elena. Nate leaves Elena in Chloe's care and heads off to take down Lazarevic before he takes the stone. Nate finds Lazarevic under the tree, where he ingests the sap of the tree, giving him the fabled power of the Sintamani Stone. Nate and Lazarevic battle, but Lazarevic is ultimately taken down by another group of Guardians. Nate runs back to Chloe and Elena, and they escape while Shambhala implodes due to the damages from the showdown with Lazarevic. Back at the village, Chloe asks Nate if he loves Elena. When he doesn't deny, Chloe takes her leave. Nate finds a recovered Elena, and they kiss, before watching the sun set over the mountains, ending this tale, and finally, bringing us to Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. The game opens in a bar, where Nate and Sully meet a man named Talbot, who Drake intends to sell his long-owned ring to. After they discover that the bills Talbot is using to pay them are counterfeit, a fight ensues that eventually ends in the alleyway behind the bar. When they are cornered, Talbot's client Catherine Marlowe appears and takes Drake's ring before he and Sully are gunned down in the alley. We flash back 20 years to find a young Nathan exploring a museum in hopes to steal Sir Francis Drake's ring from an exhibit. He is thrown out of the museum only to see Sully, for the first time, going after the same prize. Nate follows Sully and discovers he is having a key made to unlock the case of the ring. Nate then pickpockets him and returns to the museum to open the case. After stealing the ring, he is caught by Marlo and Sully, who happens to be working for her. Nate runs from Marlo's men, and Sully eventually rescues him, taking in the young boy as a surrogate father figure. Back in present day, Nate and Sully are alive, and the shooting is revealed to be a ruse set up by them and an undercover Charlie Cutter, who was charading as one of Marlo's men. The three men meet up with Chloe to trail Marlo, and after they trace her car to a hidden library, they find T.E. Lawrence's notebook, a map showing Sir Francis Drake's voyage to Arabia in search of Ubar, also known as the Atlantis of the Sands, and clues to the city's location being found in France and Syria. Cutter and Chloe head to Syria, while Nate and Sully head to France to look for the clues. There, they find half of an amulet before being ambushed by Talbot, who takes it and sets the crypt they found it in ablaze. Nate and Sully then escape and make their way to Syria in fear that Chloe and Cutter have been followed as well. There, Nate and Sully meet with Chloe and Cutter, who inform them that Marlowe is the head of a 400-year-old order that seeks to gain control by using fear. Cutter is then shot by Talbot with a dart, containing some sort of drug that causes him to give in to Talbot's demands to hand over his notebook, as well as giving him hallucinogenic nightmares. The group fight through Cutter's hallucinations and eventually find their way through a crypt, obtaining the second half of the amulet and discovering that the next clue is in Yemen. They are once again visited by Talbot, who attempts to control Cutter again, forcing him to hand over the amulet and shoot his friends. Cutter then reveals that the effects of the drug have worn off, however, and shoots Talbot to give the others a chance to escape. They all eventually escape, but Cutter breaks his leg in the process, forcing Nate and Sully to travel to Yemen on their own. Deciding they're in over their heads, Sully convinces Nate to meet with Elena, who we learn he has married and subsequently separated from between the events of this game and the last. The two argue briefly, but she eventually helps them locate an underground tomb where they find the location of the Lost City. After exiting, Nate is then shot with one of Talbot's darts, causing him to be captured by Talbot and Marlowe. 
She threatens Elena and Sully if Nate doesn't cooperate, and shortly after, Talbot receives word of Sully's location. Nate escapes and chases Talbot before he can get to Sully. However, Nate is then knocked out by Ramesses, a pirate working for Marlow. Nate wakes inside a shipyard and is interrogated about his search. After refusing to cooperate, Ramesses claims to have Sully captured, and Nate escapes captivity to find Sully, or at least, a dummy of Sully. Ramesses catches up to Nate, and a battle ensues that causes the ship to overturn. Nate escapes the ship, and back at shore he is reunited with Elena, who informs Nate that Marlow captured Sully and took him to the Rubal Kili Desert. They decide to stow away on a cargo plane set to deliver supplies to Marlow's men, but Nate leaves Elena behind just before so she doesn't get put in harm's way. Elena does reappear, however, and helps Nate catch up to the cargo plane. He grabs the landing gear as it raises and is able to enter the plane. He is discovered by Marlow's men in air, however, and following a fight is forced to jump out of the plane, grabbing a falling crate and using its parachute to land on the desert sands below. Nate stumbles through the desert, eventually finding an abandoned town, which happens to be being searched by Marlow's men. Nate is rescued by a group of locals on horseback, led by a man named Salim. Back at their camp, Salim agrees to help Nate, informing him of the evil jinn that inhabit Ubar, dooming the city. Salim and Nate rescue Sully, then make their way through a sandstorm to the gates of Ubar. After entering, Nate drinks water from a fountain before Talbot appears and shoots Sully. An enraged Nate chases Talbot and finds that his men have been possessed by the jinn, which causes them to become engulfed in flame and nearly invincible. Nate is eventually surprised to find Sully alive and well. Sully explains that after he drank the water, Nate went insane and ran off, revealing that the water of Ubar has been tainted, which is what truly doomed the city. Nate and Sully find Marlow, preparing to obtain the brass talisman that was cast into the water by King Solomon initially tainting it. Preventing them from obtaining the talisman, the two destroy the winch Marlow was using, causing a chain reaction collapsing the city. Nate and Sully escape, but encounter Marlow and Talbot again. Marlo falls into a pit of quicksand, and Nate tries to rescue her, but ultimately fails, as she sinks, bringing Drake's ring with her. Talbot attempts to stop Nate and Sully from escaping, but Nate is forced to shoot and kill him, causing him to fall into the sand. Salim makes the rescue, and takes Nate and Sully to safety, as the city finally crumbles. Back in Yemen, Sully returns Nate's wedding ring, which he kept after Drake and Elena separated. Nate then sees Elena, and the two share an embrace before the three of them fly back home safely, with the story left to be continued. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I put so much hard work and time and effort into it, and it, it, I really appreciate you sticking around, watching the whole thing. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up down there. It lets me know that you appreciated the video, you liked what you saw, it just helps me know what you guys are into. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more. This is uh, Suggestive Gaming, it's a Let's Play channel. We do a lot of fun stuff, play a lot of games. Our gimmick is uh, we like to play games that you suggest, so please let us know what you want us to play. And if you want to see more videos, I've got some here. Click those annotations, you can see more. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And later on, demons came to Earth, and I think they did one in space, like on Mars, and it opened up like a portal to hell, or maybe that was the movie. Yeah. I don't with remember. The rock with The Rock, yeah. yeah. That everybody loved. <laughs> Just kidding, nobody.